it fast? Oh, how we doing? Ah, uh, the fireplace, winter time. Can't really be out there unless you're suicidal like I was yesterday. 20 degrees, get a little fire going. Wait a second. Not the day for these. Not the day for these. Readers. So we can see a little bit. It's a good time to come in and look at your tackle. I also thought about it that I would make it a little short. I got into the fish yesterday. I know how hard winter fishing is. There's not that many people doing it. That's why also this is a good little tip where you can get your tackle out and get ready for the upcoming spring second season. It's February 1st, 2nd today. Uh, we're just starting off. It's really coming in. Yesterday I picked up some good fish. And that's what I want to talk about today. Uh, as you all know, this is a great time to go through your tackle box, dump out all your old stuff that's rusted and no good, get rid of it. Go ahead and organize, clean up your hooks. Uh, we don't want any rust, we want sharp hooks not to hurt yourselves or the fish. Um, I lined up a few things here that I use during the winter months that really work, and that just gets the point across with the tackle. Uh, you have to be a little creative with this stuff on your own, or, or you can just buy the stuff the store has. Uh, look around, see what the different fishermen are using. Know your water. I've said that a thousand times. Know your water. I know what works here, but some of, this, some of these things work in all waters. There's all you guys that are really getting after it. No. I don't really uh, prefer drop shot fishing because of the feel for it, but this rig works really good, good in cold weather. and It's fairly easy to put up just a drop shot, like it says. I'll put a little trailer on mine to get it off the main line. I don't like the way it hangs. Some people do that, some people don't. You can experiment with yourself. You can rig the, your plastic to whatever works in your water. Little black worms work great. I go a little smaller with the bait also because the fish are moving a little slower. They're not really uh, in an attitude to go after a big bait. Though people debate this. Some say yes, some say no. Um, worms in general, they're a good bait this time of the year all the time. Uh, I like to get these. Uh, Split shot it is. It's a wacky top. It's basically a split shot on a worm hook. I have one here on a worm style hook. And you can hook any plastic. Like I said, I like these wheelies. It also has a space for a rattle in the back. Rattles are always good. And you can pretty these up with different kinds of this nail polish with glitter in it. It's really easy to get. I'm sure your wives have it. Female gorilla. Now, on over to my spinner baits and the chatter frogs and these check shakes too. God, these are fantastic. I love these things. And they're so versatile and tough. They have movable fins in the front so you can adjust your, your depth to your water and how it feeds, which is very handy, especially in the variable water depths that I fish in. Right now the water uh, the the bass are a little lower, so by just by adjusting the nose on these with your pliers, just a little bit, you can change the depth. And you mess with it while you're out there fishing. As you can see, I'm fond of yellow. I have a bunch here, but they're different style heads. This is actually a completely different style. Uh, you can put any of your trailers on this. You want to try and match your colors, of course. But uh, any variation of your plastic, don't be afraid to cut them up and put the piece that works on the end. Don't be afraid if also if an animal comes in the scene while we're doing this. I have several here at the house. And I like them with the camouflaged heads. Where it looks like the bug, this is the Chatter Frog brand, but I've changed. They come with frog legs, but this is in the season for frogs. And uh, that's coming, it's my favorite. We'll do a whole another segment on that. Then you have the silver brand, like I said, you can also add a shine to it, and that works. And you can take it off the little polish remover at the end of the day. Franklin Roosevelt, you're going to get in the shot. Uh, I also have these in dark for different watercolors. You know, this is just a grub that I've added to, to this head. And they come in different style, uh, styles and colors. These are the bite juice. I really like them. These are Kalins that they use for the yellow style. These are my favorite, though I've used other things. You can use yellow worms, uh, fluorescent worms. They walk, they work. Just look at your lures and put a little thought into it, and it's yours. You know, it's still these people. Okay, we're not going to move in on their territory. But you can make the baits different and better without having to buy new ones all the time. Same goes for the spinner. Uh, I really, really like this in the river going after the Guadalupe bass. Now right now shiny's working better. So I already did this one right before on camera one side of it or off camera so I'm going to flip it over because this stuff does take a minute to dry. And it's really simple. As I was saying you just I like the you can make your own with clear um, uh, fingernail polish and different colored glitters. I prefer the kind that's already pre made because man can I make a mess. You turn this to plain old Jane Blur into the shine.
shiny new one just with a stroke of a dollar glitter nail polish. Same thing, you can touch up your, your other lures with this stuff. It's fantastic. Um, same thing with the jig heads. Uh, you can change them up, make them different. This one has a rattle on it, and I'll put skirts on it of a different kind, depending on the water color. But I happen to buy a ton of new ones. Keeps, I'm a minimalist because I'm running around in waders and small uh, bait bag. But you can also get the pre made That's what you want to do. This is a football head jig. Works really great also in, at this weather time. Just a few little things that I like to do. Like I said, you guys know what works. I know what works around here. Come fish with the gorilla. And we'll show you, see if we can't catch some bass together. I'm ready for the season to come and enough of this inside stuff. Let's go outside. Get up, get out, go fish.